Welcome back to OTH Inside. I'm Amy Hotz, film reporter for the Star News. Well, the big news for One Tree Hill this past week is that uh, Joy Galliotti, uh, who is working on the Notebook musical over at Thalian Hall here in Wilmington, had her play uh, presented in front of some investors. And uh, it was a closed set uh, or theater. Nobody was around except for the investors and people that she invited. Um, we weren't there, but we understand that it went off without a hitch. So we wish her well in that endeavor. And Joy wasn't the only person who was working hard this uh, past couple of weeks. Um, I stood out in the pouring rain and talked to some of you guys about what you think about season seven. I'm standing here with Lauren from Memphis who came down for a beach vacation and it's turned out raining, but um, she is uh, having a good time watching the filming here across the street. So, so tell me, have you heard anything about all the new characters they've introduced this year, some of the new actors? No, I haven't heard anything about any new characters. I'm still stuck on season five, so I'm trying to get caught up on my right. season. So. We're getting a, a really good sneak peek at Season 7 right now. Oh, yeah. um, what have you gotten to see so far across the street? Well, we saw um, Julian come through the store, and he's looked over a couple of times and waved and smiled at us, so he's been real nice. And I've got to see Brooke a couple of times through the window, but that's about as good as that's gotten. So. Did you get any good pictures of everything? Uh, some good pictures of Julian, but not really so much of any of the other actresses. So okay. it's been exciting, though, what I have gotten to see. So how did you find out they were filming here today? Uh, actually, it was just happenstance, you know, just didn't have anything else to do in the rainy weather. So drove downtown and saw the set of Close Ever Bros, got kind of excited and pulled over and been staying here for a couple of hours now. So just happenstance. Well, that was pretty lucky. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Very so, exciting. Yeah. And if you guys ever come to Wilmington, um, if you see a lightning rental truck or, um, you know, big crowd, because we have a pretty big crowd today, probably the biggest one I've ever seen really? here at Close Over Bros. Um, stop, check it out, ask around. Nobody minds telling you if it's uh, One Tree Hill or some other film that's filming in Wilmington. So, all right, well, have a good time. Thank you. And now I'm going to hand it over to Jeff, who's going to tell you what happened on One Tree Hill last night, just in case you missed it. Hi, I'm Jeff Heideck. Last night on One Tree Hill, in case you missed it, um, the baby mama drama continues as. Haley spent some time in the slammer after slugging the woman who's blackmailing her husband, Nathan. Nathan, meanwhile, took out his frustrations on Clay, saying Clay was spending too much time with his sister-in-law, Quinn. Now, Quinn, of course, was distraught after separating from her husband and found solace in Clay, but it turns out Clay and Quinn weren't actually sleeping together, although clearly those two are going to end up together soon. I enjoyed seeing Dan, as always last night, try to reconnect with his son, Nathan. Now, of course, as the previews for next week's show, when Nathan chucked Dan down, Dan is going to make him pay. Now also last night there was some friction between Mouth and Millie as Millie's decision to become a model for Clothes Over Bros didn't sit well with Mouth who is trying to walk the moral high road by quitting his job at the desk of the news station for refusing to report on Nathan's baby mama drama. It all comes back to that this season. For more on next week's episode you can go to our website at starnewsonline.com slash one tree hill. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.